Welcome to a Dexis OP3DEX 3D Patient Positioning Training Video. This video covers scan size selections, proper patient positioning, and acquiring an image. Start by opening your dental imaging software. Select the patient for examination and select the device to establish a connection. The OP3DEX graphical user interface opens on the workstation when the connection to the device has been established. Select the 3D modality. With the 3D modality selected, you can select the region of interest on the dental chart for the 3D scan. This will automatically change the field of view FOV, according to your selection. You can select all parts of the dentition by clicking Select All. Undo Select All by clicking Clear Selection to return to the previous state. Here you'll find the field of view size selections, presented as height by diameter. For example, a field of view that's 10 by 15 corresponds to a cylindrical volume with a height of 10 cm and a diameter of 15 cm. Select an image resolution, low, standard, or high. There is also an endo resolution available, only for the 5 by 5 field of view. The list of available FOV sizes depend on the device configuration and country specification. This icon allows you to select the Scout Image Program. A Scout Image is taken to verify and perform adjustments to the FOV position and height before initiating a full 3D scan. By default, the Scout Image option is always active when taking 3D images. The patient size indicates the currently selected patient size. Press the patient size selection icon to open a list of patient sizes, small, medium, and large. Select the patient size icon to activate it. Selecting a patient size, auto adjusts the KV and MA exposure values to preset levels. Test mode disables device radiation production. Test mode can be used to demonstrate the device's movements. You can also use the unit control panel to enable and disable test mode. The device status indicator message bar displays the device status with a color-coded indicator. A gray indicator means the device is not ready and will be accompanied by a prompt indicating steps for resolution. A green indicator lets you know the device is ready for imaging. Press the home button on the OP3DEX control panel. The unit will move to the home, patient in, position. There are two chin rest configurations used when acquiring a 3D image one for the maxilla and one for the mandible or dual jaws. With the chin rest pre-configured, place it onto the lower shelf of the device. Place disposable covers on the lip support and patient chin rest. Open the patient head support by turning the knob on the head support counterclockwise. Prepare the patient for the procedure by asking them to remove all metal objects, including earrings, necklaces, glasses, hairpins and all removable appliances from above their shoulders. Properly place a protective lead apron over the patient in accordance with local regulations. Have the patient stand in front of the unit. Instruct them to stand as straight and tall as possible, with their feet at shoulder width. Adjust the patient's Frankfurt plane, which should be positioned parallel to the floor. Raise or lower the unit as needed so the patient's chin is level with the chin rest. To slowly raise or lower the unit height, press up from the underside of the controller or down from the top of the controller. For faster movement, pinch both sides of the controller while pressing up or down. Tell the patient to close their eyes. Turn the patient positioning lights on by pressing the positioning light button on the control panel. Use the horizontal alignment lights to ensure the patient's occlusal plane is horizontal prior to the patient entering the unit. Have the patient step forward asking them to grasp the patient handles, place their chin on the chin rest making contact with the lip support. If the patient has wide shoulders that could collide with the rotating unit, ask the patient to cross their arms when holding the handles, to contract the shoulders. Ask the patient to take a step forward to straighten their spine. You can open the mirror and use it to assist in positioning the patient. Close the mirror before acquiring an image. Turn the patient positioning lights back on by pressing the positioning light button. Use the positioning lights to assist in correctly aligning the patient's head. The region of interest captured is located between the upper and lower horizontal field of view lights. Ensure the patient's head position is aligned with the mid-sagittal positioning light. The head should not be turned or tilted. 
Compensate for misalignments by manually moving the patient's head into the proper position or by adjusting the unit height. Additionally, if the patient isn't required to be in occlusion, install the patient bite block. Ensure the patient bites down so both their upper and lower anterior teeth are in the bite block's grooves. Alternatively, place a cotton roll or something similar between the patient's front teeth to separate the jaws. Close the head support by rotating the knob clockwise. Adjust the forehead support so it is resting against the patient's forehead. Reconfirm proper patient alignment using the positioning lights. You're now ready to acquire a scout image. Before acquiring a scout image, inform the patient that the unit will rotate and that an audible sound will occur. If the patient is feeling insecure or has an exceptional anatomy, use the test mode to demonstrate the unit movements and to ensure the rotating unit does not collide with the patient during the imaging process. Activate the test mode from the GUI or by pressing the test mode button on the control panel. With the test mode selected, press and hold the exposure button. The unit will rotate around the patient without generating x-rays. When ready, press and hold down the exposure button to acquire a scout image. A lateral and frontal scout preview image appears on the screen. If the region of interest is not centered in the volume, without moving the patient, simply click the sliders located below each image to adjust the desired position of the 3D scan. You can also increase or decrease the height of the scan by sliding the height adjustment icon up or down. It is recommended to take advantage of the beam collimation to limit radiation exposure to help ensure an optimal field of view. You can now retake the scout image if needed or proceed directly to image capture by pressing the OK button. Ask the patient to swallow, hold their tongue position, breathe through their nose, and remain still for the duration of the exposure. Inform the patient the unit will rotate around their head and an audible sound will occur. Protect yourself from radiation in accordance with local safety guidelines and regulations, while also maintaining visual contact with the patient during exposure. Press and hold down the exposure button until the process completes. A preview image appears on the GUI for review. Use the sliders to preview the 3D slices, change the projection views, and to adjust the brightness and contrast. Select the OK button to complete the image acquisition. Release the temple supports and guide the patient out of the DEXIS OP3DEX. Remove all disposable covers, disinfect the device, and all patient positioning accessories. Thank you for watching. For more information, please visit DEXIS.com.